Hello and welcome back to Barossa Valley Crafts. So in the uh, group we've got the card making for beginners and beyond. This month's header challenge was won by a lady that made a um, card that was done like a box filled with flowers and there's been a lot of people asking how it was done. So what I'm going to do here is just show you how I make the box and then you need just any floral dyes that you've got to create the flowers to fill the box. So what I've done was I've cut two pieces that are just over six inches, six and one eighths of an inch by four, uh, sorry, three and three quarters of an inch. And then on one end, just cut a tab. So you need to do that so that they're both the same and then score it at, so let's see, it needs two score lines. So one at, say, one and a half inches and the other one at about two and, oh, see, that's 11 eighths. So that's an unusual measurement. And then... From the bottom up, you need another one at two and a half inches. Then on the top part, cut your score line so that it gives you two little flaps. So you're going to do two exactly the same for your box. So then on the tab, I've just added some double-sided adhesive. So I'm just going to remove that from there and connect the other piece up. It's very tacky. I'll just make sure I'm working in my own shadow here, which isn't helping. I'll try again. So just line it up on the oh, still not matching it properly. There we go, that's got it. Press that down and then fold it on that score line and just give it a good rub. And then on the other end, so fold on your score line, remove that backing from the other side and fold that in half and hopefully that should match up nice and evenly. And that has then created your box. So we'll just fold it on the other score lines. And then these are your little flaps that you can fold down. But what I'll do is I'll leave this one up because that will be the back of the box. Then I've cut two tabs that are four and three quarter inches by one inch. And they are scored at three quarters of an inch on either end. And then cut a little wedge off each end and then fold on your score lines then remove I've got double sided tape on the little tabs so we're going to remove the backing tape now it's up to you whether you want to do more than two I'm only doing two here but you can do more if you like and then line that up in place there and press it and then the same on the other end so if you remove your backing tape there you go and put that one there so you can see from the top there now you've got this little shelf thing here so we're going to repeat that again with the other one. And then this will then give you two pieces to attach your flowers to. So I'm just going to line that up with the back of the first one. And we'll do it again on the other end. You can buy cutting dies to make these boxes as well. So now you can see there's like two shelves there. Then when I do them, I've got a piece of acetate here. So I'm going to remove 
bit of backing tape from one and just pop it in there and then remove a bit of backing of like I say I've added double sided tape a bit earlier and then I've cut this flower so this is a poinsettia but you can use any flowers you like and then attach that to the acetate on your uh, yeah the tape on your acetate and there's one flower in your box so from there you would cut out a lot of flowers or however many you like and then you just attach them all at different heights and different levels along here you can attach them on these two the back and on the inside the front and the inside of the back and then you can create that box full of flowers and if you wanted to post it it will fold so that you can post it and then if you wanted to put it um, like do it as a card for somebody you could decorate the flaps in the front with the happy birthday and then on the back you could put um, like your birthday sentiments and greetings and hopefully that helps to see how to make a flower box and then just add your own flowers to that and build it up. So I hope you've enjoyed that little quick tutorial and um, yeah look please if you do it do share in the group what you've done so you can share it with others that would be awesome. So if you've liked this video, can you just give it a thumbs up and um, subscribe if you'd like to see more. Thank you for joining me. Bye.